welcome to Edison Open House Global Healthcare 2021. In this session, we're going to be meeting Nuclara, which is a desktop bioprinting company. With me is their founder and chief technical officer, Michael Chen. Michael, welcome. Hi, Vivian. It's very nice to be here. So why did you found your company and what's the problem that you were trying to solve? So Nuclera was founded in 2013 by myself and my fellow co-founders, Gordon, Jahal, and Radu, uh, because we found that despite our different research projects, we faced a common challenge, which was to get the genes and proteins, the raw materials necessary in order to conduct life science R&D. We found that incredibly challenging, and we came together and said, there has to be a better way to supply these raw materials, these biopolymers, to the life science market in order to power life science innovation. Unlike the manufacturing or tech industries where there are rapid prototyping devices like 3D printers or computers, in the life sciences, there's a lack of this unifying rapid prototyping desktop instrument. And so our company mission is to create a desktop bioprinter that will help scientists get their genes and proteins, these biopolymers, in days rather than the weeks to months that it currently takes. And so we've spent, since our founding in 2013 at Nuclera, um, a large amount of time making sure that our biopolymer synthesis processes are both robust and accurate and deployable through a benchtop format so that really scientists in the biopharmaceutical and life science R&D industries can get their biopolymers very, very rapidly. Where would companies have got their biopolymers before? So, it's it's an interesting question because um, this is sort of all over the place, right? So if we look at, for example, genes and the proteins that we focus on at Nuclera, genes are currently either ordered from a service-based company, and that typically takes weeks to months uh, in terms of turnaround time, or scientists will actually try to assemble those DNA pieces together themselves from shorter DNA oligos and create genes in a very labor-intensive process. And most people don't use DNA and genes or get DNA and genes just for the sake of, of, of having DNA and genes. They use it for some means. And the most common means is to create proteins and express and purify proteins from those what we call DNA and gene products. And uh, this activity is highly specialized and requires a great amount, a uh, great deal of know-how. So what Nuclera's desktop bioprinter does is rather than relying on that incredibly specific know-how and this siloed knowledge within the life sciences, we present a streamlined desktop bioprinter to the industry so that um, uh, life science R&D biopharmaceutical R&D can become standardized, predictable, and cost-effective. Now, the reason why this is important in this day and age is because uh, clearly there's a terrible event that's going on at the moment, the COVID-19 pandemic. And we've seen how important life science R&D is because it's that activity that is critical to the preclinical research that translates therapies from bench to bedside. And so being able to increase productivity through a streamlined device like Nuclera's desktop bioprinter will be necessary to get us out of this pandemic and potentially future ones as well. So you're not so much a discovery company, but an enabler for discovery. That's correct. We, um, we are really trying to effectively disrupt the way that life science R&D is performing at the moment by redefining 
the method that we, um, uh, by redefining the way that the biopolymer supply chain is currently structured in the life sciences. So this is potentially disruptive, but how do you prove that it works? I mean, in, in, you know, in other healthcare areas, you have clinical trials. What do you do in an area like this to prove that your tech works and works consistently into a high standard? So for clarity, our desktop bioprinter is for research use only, not for diagnostic use. And so we do not have to go through uh, clinical efficacy trials in order to launch our product into the market. But luckily, there's an industry around uh, certain aspects of the biopolymers uh, that we are supplying. And that industry has uh, developed its own set of standards and key performance indicators and metrics for uh, the products that are being supplied to the marketplace. For example, error rates, coupling efficiencies, et cetera, from the DNA space, as well as purity, solubility, et cetera, from the protein space. And so our goal over the next year is to be able to work with key customers in the biopharma space, to work with uh, key opinion leaders in academia in order to publish industry white papers, as well as peer reviewed publications to demonstrate to our customer base that Nuclear's desktop bioprinter produces biopolymers that are going to be useful for their life science innovation pipeline. So you mentioned your customer base there. Who are your customers potentially? So Nuclear's customers are going to be those engaged in drug discovery and biopharmaceutical R&D, whether that be in industry or in academia. And we would like to be able to approach these key customers and show them that we can uh, uh, innovate uh, and help them innovate by allowing them to obtain their biopolymers very, very rapidly. For example, we recently collaborated with a research group at the University of Southampton to show how our desktop bioprinter and how our desktop bioprinting processes can assist in COVID-19 related research. And so we believe very strongly that our desktop bioprinter will be quite useful and presents a unique value proposition that differentiates itself from the current competitive landscape to uh, those customers in the biopharmaceutical area. Are you going to sell this product yourselves uh, or have you some other partnership strategy in mind? Yeah, sure. So with today's uh, technological innovations, as well as um, the ability to reach our consumers directly through uh, social media platforms, as well as uh, our website, we plan to take a direct to consumer approach in North America and the United Kingdom, as well as Europe. Um, um, uh, and currently, our thought process for how we achieve commercialization in other geographies, such as Asia, is still evolving, uh, but a potential distributor model, model is currently in discussion. So when do you think, you mentioned commercialization, but when do you think you'll be ready to do that? So Nuclera, we raised the Series A in 2018 in order to finance our uh, concept research um, and also mature our intellectual property portfolio. Um, we are in the midst of uh, uh, preparing for a Series B towards the end of 2021 in order to be able to prepare Nuclear and scale Nuclear into a company that is ready for commercialization in 2022. So we're spending most of 2021 making robust our uh, uh, biopolymer processes on our instrument as well as externally deploying our instruments and our products to the marketplace to be able to validate to our customers that our technology is going to be as high quality as we claim it is. In fact, in 2020, we've already performed the first phase of our external validation, which is why we're so confident that we will be able to commercialize our desktop bioprinter in 2022. And when do you think you'll be profitable? 
So our transition to profitability in our current financial forecast models are, uh, is between uh, 2024 and 2025. And meanwhile, what about your cash runway? So uh, uh, currently uh, uh, from our Series A financing activities, our cash runway lasts well uh, uh, into uh, the, uh, the early half of 2023. However, um, the reason why we are looking to raise a Series B at the end of 2021 uh, is because we want to be able to really accelerate. Um, and given our R&D progress and our progress in externally validating our technologies with early access trialists, we believe that we are ready uh, for that next stage of financing in order to bring us into the marketplace. Now, 2020 has been an enormously difficult year for everyone. How is 2021 looking to Nuclera? So in 2020, uh, we had to uh, adapt, like many companies have had to adapt uh, to uh, whether that be uh, uh, COVID secure policies in the workplace, uh, and uh, or dealing with customers who have had to refocus uh, their pipelines to COVID research. And so Nuclera is very much um, uh, innovating in the uh, COVID-19 biopharmaceutical space, as well as assisting uh, customers um, with the focus on how we can maintain R&D productivity in an environment where social distancing is, uh, is so paramount to the continued safety in the workplace. And so in 2021, we will continue to emphasize um, these priorities at Nuclear, maintaining of uh, COVID secure policies within our workplace in order to maintain forward progress and our commercialization targets as well as looking to the many partnerships and many opportunities that have opened up in 2021, because there's a recognition in society that the way that we're going to get out of the present crisis is through life science innovation, is through uh, the uh, increase in, in innovation in the healthcare arena in order to be able to continue to effectively and quickly develop therapies for the clinic. Michael Chen, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Vivian. Glad to be here.